Hi there, Elizabeth Leamy here, host of Easy Money. On episode 10 of the podcast, we talked about selling stock photos as a way of either making extra income or switching into a career in photography. You can even take photos you already own and sell them as stock. So I want to show you what makes a good stock photo, what doesn't, and why. Here's a little still life I shot at my office desk. Businesses often use office images for their websites, but this is not a good stock photo for a couple of reasons. First, there's a logo on the mug, and that's a no-no. Businesses don't want other companies' logos in their ads. Second, this picture is cropped too tight. That's a nice arty look, but for stock photos, better to leave some blank space around the main image that a business could put ad copy over. And third, did you notice the note from President Barack Obama on the side? It's a sweet note my daughter received after I interviewed the former president. Long story, but it's not good to include partisan images in most stock photos because that dramatically narrows who can use them and will offend about half the country. Now here's the same picture adjusted so it might work as a stock photo. I've widened the framing. Look, now there's room for text. I turned the coffee mug so the logo is hidden and I got rid of the political note and put in a generic image instead. I'm not saying it's brilliant, but now this picture is an acceptable stock photo. Here's another picture of my family in front of our house. It has potential, maybe for a real estate ad. But when you include recognizable people in stock photos, you need a model release. And when you show recognizable properties in stock photos, you need a property release. Releases are legal documents saying the photographer has permission to sell these images. So if you want to sell stock photos like this that you took long ago, make sure you can still get the releases you need. Take the right stock photo images and it can be a nice side income. One photographer says he's got a thousand images on 10 different stock photo sites and he's bringing in $500 a month. On episode 10 of the Easy Money podcast, I interviewed a gentleman who started with stock photos and now has become a full-time photographer with all sorts of flexibility in his schedule and a nice income. To learn more about getting into the world of stock photos, check out episode 10 of the Easy Money podcast. You can subscribe via the link below. Now that's easy money.